Mr. Stolle, what exactly are the major challenges in the LNG and the new energy landscape? Well, if you talk about uh, LNG first, um, at the moment there's a, definitely a very tight market caused by not only the war but uh, certain other energy factors such as shortages um, of energy in Europe caused by maybe too optimistic on the renewable side. I mean, anyway, the energy market is very tight on the, on the supply side. Um, and that has driven up prices quite significantly. Um, and this obviously also has a direct effect on the shipping, LNG shipping market, where also rates have come up uh, quite dramatically over the last few months. Uh, now, having said that though, what can we actually expect for the new energy mix? Well, for the energy mix itself, uh, um, in our group, we believe that uh, LNG and natural gas is a very important part of the energy transition. So we need all the gas that we can get our hands on, um, especially if we want to get the world away from coal. Uh, but that will take some time. So I think in the immediate, and unfortunately it is the case that because of the war, coal is coming back. I think that's a transitory issue that will be dealt with. But clearly more renewables will come into the energy mix, uh, more natural gas, less oil and coal in the, in the long term picture. In the immediate though, I'm afraid that because of the war, these things have been turned upside down. How much do you think this is going to take things backwards? I mean, what's going to be the delay in decarbonizing the ships? Well, I mean, for the vessels um, at the moment, uh, clearly uh, LNG prices are very high. So that has caused some companies to basically burn uh, low sulfur fuel oil instead of gas. But I think this is transitory. With all the new production that's coming on stream on the LNG side, prices will come back down again. And I firmly believe that, you know, for the big investments being made in containers, obviously LNG carriers, we are building dual fuel BLCCs. Mm -hmm. uh, prices will come back to a more normal level and then we will see a large uptake of LNG as a propulsion fuel for ships. What do you think is the exact horizon, the time scale? <sighs> That's difficult to predict, of mm -hmm. course, especially today with the war and everything. But over the next two, three years, I'm sure the market will normalize again. So if we're talking about 24, 25, mm -hmm. I think you prices would come back down. If you look at the forward curve, that's also what the market tells you. I see. Western Mr. Stoller, thank you very much for being with us today. Uh, if you'd like to, to share with us uh, your thoughts about being here in person again after two years due to the COVID pandemic. No, I think it's wonderful uh, to be back and uh, obviously to meet all the people. Uh, it's the most important thing we do, meet people. That's how we create new solutions and uh, get the world going. So it's wonderful to be here.